Yeah, so this basically summarizes the entire video. Welcome back to George's Gadgets, everyone. I'm George, and I want to say, first off, thank you so much for a thousand subs. I never thought that I'd get this far. Seven months ago when I started this whole adventure, I honestly thought all I would get would be bald jokes and eyebrow comments. You guys have been crazy supportive, and I really appreciate it, and we're just going to keep chugging along and see how far we can go. This trip to Earth was the first type of event really I've ever been to, any kind of convention or anything like that, and it was freaking awesome. And I got a ton of swag. I mean, look at all this stuff. But before I could get my hands on that stuff, I actually had to get there. What's up everybody? We're finally here at Earth. Myself and my lovely wife, Kristen. We didn't film the first day, <laughs> sorry. This is day two at Earth. We didn't film the first day. We, uh, we wanted to enjoy the first day and we took a look around. I got some segments, but today I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna film as much as I can. So let's uh, get right to it and uh, head in. I met a ton of different people and I got to see a lot of people that I've been seeing on YouTube, which was super cool. I even got to meet Uncle Jesse and that man is just as handsome in person as he is on his YouTube channel. So all this stuff is not in any particular order. It's just what I put it in. So don't think like, oh, that thing's first. So that's what he liked the most. And if you didn't make it in this video, I apologize. I just, I screwed up when I was filming and a lot of the footage was blurry and I didn't get to use it, but First up is print and play, and this guy is awesome. He was designing these little arcade boxes, and he said basically it's like a hundred bucks if you get all of the equipment on sale via AliExpress or whatever vendor that you can use. And he is designing these things so that you can put a orange pie or a raspberry pie in it, and you can run retro pie and play all these classic arcade games. It was, it was a blast. I recently joined this group called Friday 3D Printing Community Hangout. And basically every Friday they just get together and they just talk about 3D printing. And all of those people, or a majority of them, were actually at Earth. And the community build that I was a part of was in Martin's booth. And Martin is 3DP Iceland. And basically he had to come all the way to the States because he didn't have anyone in Iceland that's interested in 3D printing. So Iceland, I'm looking at you to try and step your game up so he doesn't have to keep flying out here. But the community's great, they're awesome, and the part that I built was actually right here. I also got to meet two of the Protopasta team members, which was really cool. I had never really seen Protopasta in person, but I am fully converted now after getting to touch and feel and see how it looks. Their matte finishes on some of their prints are amazing it reduces the layer lines without any post-processing. And um, I just wanna say thanks Tom and Keith for talking to me. I could've talked to you guys all day. It was really fun. They lie, you can totally eat the pasta. But if Proto isn't your cup of pasta, Greybeard actually has this really cool setup. It was one of the best setups there, I think. But basically he prints out little Marvins and he photographs them so that you can see all the different colors and finishes that different filaments have. So you don't have to take the risk of buying something that you might not like. He was really friendly. He looked like a Viking, but he was like a gentle giant. So he was a great guy. Check out his website and use his links to buy some filament. It would help him out and support him. Speaking of guys that look like Vikings, Country 3D is doing amazing things with his 
3D printed printers. So I got to see for the first time, I was there when he was booting it up and firing it up, but it's a fully printed the Hypercube Evolution that is on Thingverse. Basically he 3D printed all of the aluminum extrusions and started printing on it and it actually works, which is mind blowing to me. He even has a fully printed Prusa and it makes me a little angry that I've paid this much for mine and his was producing prints that are almost the same quality. So many of the displays were just really cool. All their prints were really awesome. I even got to meet the guy who created the plugin for OctoPrint that allows you to cancel prints if they fail mid-print. So basically if you have a board of uh, five prints and one of them screws up, you don't have to cancel the whole thing, you can go in and just cancel one of them. He also made a printer out of an old liquid hand handler that cost the US government about 30 grand back in the day. And he repurposed it using the DC servo motors so that you can actually knock it and it knows where it's gonna, where it was so it can go back. Much like what the Prusa does, except a lot better. Also, Shory Designs was there, the guy who would 3D prints on fabric and his stuff is crazy. I've seen it on Tom's and Joel's uh, pages, but I never got to see it in person. And it was really cool. 3D Gloop is adhesion and smoothing compound. And I actually got a clip of me playing tug of war where they use their, their stuff to glue these two pieces together. And here it is. There. Oh, wow. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Dang, that's nuts. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so those guys have a kickstart going on. I don't know if it's still happening right now, but definitely check them out when they officially start selling their stuff. I definitely think it's worth it. I got to see a skewed views prints that they were there. They were committed to producing, I believe, three different designs a week for this entire year. And their team's really cool. Um, I also got to see today's 3D print. And I got to meet Joel, but he left me hanging, so that was kind of messed up. E3D was there, and it was cool to see those guys in person. I was kind of starstruck, and I really wanted to talk to them, but um, I didn't because, I don't know, I was just nervous. I'm a goofball like that. Uh, but basically I get to see their tool, tool head, tool change system that they have going and I've seen it again on Tom's page and seeing it in person, it's just, it's mind blowing. That is what multi-material and multi-color is going to be in the future. The fact that you can have multiple nozzles and multiple materials just as easily as swapping out the tool head is mind blowing to me. That's super cool. So probably my most favorite display was the Budman booth. It looked really nice and all I got was a picture of it because when I showed up there I was taking video of their printer which looks amazing. It looks like something that should be at an Iron Giant. But those guys are really friendly, they're super cool and I love talking to them and I got sidetracked and didn't film as much as I should have. But here's a picture of me and Kristen sitting on their 3D printed stools. And one of the stools uh, took like 94 hours to print and you can check out their website. I actually got one of their shirts because I like their stuff so much. And I'm not being sponsored by them. This is just a shameless plug for them because I really like what they're doing. Another cool booth was Art3. And this guy was talking to me, showing me how he is printing out models, smoothing them with poly, poly smooth, and then he creates a silicone mold. And he was telling me that he does this at the stovetop of his apartment. He's like, if they knew what I did in my apartment, he's melting down pewter and pouring it into the silicone mold so that he can have like pewter parts. And it was super cool. It's definitely something that I want to try out. Normally when I think 3D printing, I think bigger is better, right? But when I walked across this tiny like printer bot, it was minuscule. It used, one of the lead screws was just like a regular old screw. He was really cool and he did say he needs some help. So I'm going to try and leave his information down below in the description. He needs some help making a website and basically maintaining um, communication because you know he has a full-time job like a lot of us do so if that's something you're interested in he was a really nice guy super friendly and he definitely would uh, appreciate the help if you contact him so overall this was an amazing event and I had a lot of fun I'm gonna do my best to make more events like this and I'm definitely gonna invest in a mic so that I can talk to these people and you can hear from the horse's mouth the projects that they're working on and the things that they're trying to do. So again, I just wanna like, I appreciate it guys, a thousand subs, that's crazy. It's it's awesome. And this video, if it's not something you like, it's more of a vloggy style and I apologize, 
but um, it was just, I wanted to share my experience at Earth. If it's something you like, give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell so you can uh, have more notifications when I post things. I usually try to do once a week, but for sure every other week. And you know, it's just, it's been a blast. I'm, I'm having fun, I hope you guys are having fun. Maybe this inspired you to go make something and I will catch you in the next video.